Hello all, welcome in Forja Solar Training Academy. My name is Rafał Baranowski, I'm a technical director in Forja Solar. In today's episode I would like to show you how to utilize and use energy storage modes on so far uh, solar uh, hybrid inverters. That's to apply to all existing inverters, hybrid ones. We're gonna cover um, five modes that you can find on the inverter, how to utilize them, how to use them and uh, how load shifting and setting up corresponding to your uh, tariffs, how to buy energy at cheap rate and then how to utilize that at big times. So that means savings. So this is EP model from so far. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set the and use um, energy storage modes. Okay, first thing is to go to the system settings. Option number four, energy storage mode. And we can see all the modes to choose from. First mode is uh, fully auto mode. We call it Celsius mode. That means that the system um, uh, priority is the load first, then the battery. Okay, so uh, PV generation, also the battery, both of those sources will always try to cover their load first. If the load uh, is request for the load is fulfilled, um, PV generation gonna go to the batteries. If battery is uh, full, then system will export to the grid. Second mode is time of use mode. Time of use means that you can have um, you can set four modes, okay, for grid charging. That means if uh, basically in winter time uh, you can you can top up your batteries if you don't have enough generation for the battery to reach 100%. Okay. Other than that, we got uh, lower uh, charge tariffs in Ireland. Uh, so here we can set let's say night night tariff to charge the battery at seven cents. So we got four rules: zero, one two and three you can assign each of those uh, rule individually corresponding to your needs okay so we need to enable rule zero we're gonna set it between two in the morning and four in the morning i want the batteries to um, charge to 100 percent if if you request that to be um, 70, 80, you can change that from that menu. Also, you can set the charge. In my case, that will be two and a half kilowatt. Because I have one battery. I'm gonna set the effective date from January to end of December, December because I have all year round tariff. I'm gonna also set that all seven days, okay? So when we got that rule set, we need to go back, go back, escape until we have the success. Now highlighted time of use will have place. It will charge the batteries from the grid between two and four. Outside that hour set, the system will work in self-use mode automatically. So now I'm gonna set another rule. One uh, rule zero is enabled between two and four. But also, let's uh, assume I got the EV charger rate. So I'm gonna set rule one, and I'm gonna set it between six and eight p.m. So instead of charging the PV battery, I'm gonna charge my local battery at lower rate that's two and a half kilowatts to get more batteries you can set it to five so january to december monday um, to sunday you can adjust that to to any date that suits you if you want to switch off that charging you can just arrow down and that will be erase the day so you can preset to any day you want so Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday 
that rule one will be charging the battery from the grid. When your requirement is done, just escape, escape, and rule two is enabled. Now we're gonna go to the timing mode. Timing mode is uh, basically designed for installers to uh, do the commissioning and si system diagnose for the full charge and discharge. Uh, yet that can be useful if you're doing um, if you're doing uh, load shifting. Okay, so in that menu, same four rules. Okay, so assuming i gonna do load load shifting so i gonna charge my batteries between two and four in the morning at seven cents so two to four is the charge gonna set it to two and a half kilowatt and then at the peak time when electricity uh, per unit is at the highest price i gonna set the battery to discharge and sell the power to the grid so that is set. Now I need to enable that rule. Enable charge. So only enable charging. Enable discharge. Only enable discharging. Enabled. Mean charging and this discharging is enabled. And escape, escape. And that's success. Remember to leave the mode highlighted because if you're gonna. Um, let's say have no requirement on timing mode and you're gonna leave it disabled and uh, highlighted system won't be utilizing battery at all okay another thing number four it's for the advanced users okay passive mode uh, is um, meaning that you're using external control system like raspberry pi uh, MQTT okay so in that mode when you have external uh, control systems uh, you can add on the inverter control via uh, home assistance this is the mode that you need to be into to be able to communicate with uh, external devices control devices and inverter with the mod bus peak shaving means if you got uh, uh, peaks at the house, let's say five o'clock system is is uh, picking at at full five kilowatt output plus the grid and you don't want to drain that battery you can do peak shaving okay you can do peak shaving at four kilowatts so anything over four kilowatts uh, will be supplied by the battery. So this is easy as that. If you got more questions, send them over and I can re-record the video uh, to meet your needs. And again, if you're changing between the modes, disable them. Uh, remember to not leave them highlighted. Pick, pick uh, exact mode that you want and disable the other ones. I want to go back to the self-use mode. I disabled the time of use mode. I'm gonna disable timing mode. And so I'm gonna go to the self use mode. And that's it about that topic. Thank you very much for today's episode. I hope you find it uh, useful. And now you are able to utilize and familiarize with uh, more advanced functions on your inverters. I hope you enjoyed the content and gonna find it useful. Uh, again, if you need more in-depth information about the products, uh, call our, our technical department and we are here to help. Thank you very much. Bye.